Hello everybody, welcome back to a second channel video. Uh, I'm your host... Gumby. Alright, today we're going through the subreddit again. Full disclosure, I am a little bit worried to go through the subreddit today because I've gotten some tweets saying that the subreddit is in shambles right now. And people said that there's people fighting on the subreddit, so I'm a little bit worried to look. But I haven't been on it in a few days, so I figure I should probably go on there and check it out. So we're gonna sort by top, we're gonna sort by month. Hopefully that will will avoid any negative posts. The first time I met Danny was horrible. Okay, not a great start. I just want to start off by saying this is no disrespect to Danny. I'm posting this so you understand meeting YouTubers isn't always going to be a good experience. In no way is this Danny's fault. Is this real? If this is a real story where somebody had a bad time meeting me, I'm gonna feel like shit after reading this. Let's use my critical thinking. Do we do we think this is real? Um Honestly, it does sound kind of real at the beginning, but it has a lot of upvotes and awards. I don't know why it would get awards if someone was just like, I met Danny and he was just kind of awkward, but I don't know. Let's check it out. Anyways, here's my story with meeting Danny. So basically me and my friend work at the Bomb Hard Theater in Kentucky. Usually we don't work backstage when a show is on, but my manager let us knowing how much we wanted to see the tour. Me and my friend were just backstage goofing around when I noticed Danny glancing over at us. I don't know what I'm about to do in this story, but I just want to defend myself and say that they were backstage goofing around. So, I mean, what would you do personally if you saw this? If this was your tour and you saw two of your fans goofing around backstage, would you not go ballistic on them? Would you not have them booted from the show? I'm just kidding, obviously. I flash him a quick smile and wave. I didn't think much of it until I noticed how angry Danny looked. He then started sprinting at me and screamed, get back to work. Okay, so this is fake. He grabbed my shoulders and threw me up into the air onto the stage. Okay, so this is real. He picked me up and started kicking me around like a soccer ball. Curtis and Drew screamed, oh no, Danny, not again. Luckily, some considerate Gregs climbed onto the stage and carried me off. Thank God that was fake, dude. If the most upvoted post on my subreddit was someone being like, I met Danny and he was an asshole. That would be the worst day of my life. But luckily, this is fake, all right? Don't believe this. Don't believe this for one second, dude. This did happen and I started beating them up, but... Curtis and Drew actually joined in and helped. Yo, look at this fan art, dude. This is awesome. This is looks just like me. I guess before I got a haircut. I got a haircut just today, so my hair's a little bit shorter. I look naked now, but back when I had long hair, this was me. I look just like Danny. I'm censoring for privacy reasons. Even though you're censoring your face, I'm just gonna come out and say, I don't see it. The arm looks nothing like my arm. This arm hair is like way too dark to be my arm. All right, look at this, so. Your arm looks nothing like my arm is basically what I'm trying to say. Can we get some more arm doppelgangers in the subreddit? Except not actually though, because I feel like that'll just take over the subreddit if I ask for that. No arms, please. Oh no. My dad watching Danny with other dads. Yeah, I didn't really think about this when I asked people to show their dads on the subreddit. You know, not everybody has a dad, but this is pretty tight, dude. Your dad is kind of swagged out right now. Very cool little case that you got him in. I had a lot of complaints about the last dad with his cable management. This dad, honestly, I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10. Not gonna lie. You fitted him out pretty well. He's carrying on in luxury. This is actually pretty funny if you don't get sad. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a, like, if the person who posted this is okay with like laughing about it. I guess they posted this, so I assume that they're cool with it. Yeah, okay. They're responding with jokes about him being cremated, so. Sorry for your loss at any rate. Very swaggy urn and uh, 10 out of 10 dad. Danny and Danful. Oh, Danny, Dan NY and Dan FL. The Dan FL is also the Dan Football League. It's, kind of, it's like the NFL, but the Dan FL. So you could have made you could have made it that as well. But this is uh, this is nice. This was funnier in my head. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of just like a breathe out of the nose, like a little exhale out of the nose funny. But you know, I appreciate it nonetheless. You could have made Daniel, D A N I L and done my home state of Illinois. And then it would have only almost been like Daniel. I feel like that would have been better, honestly. Danny and Dan and then you could have shown like me in front of the bean or me in front of um, cornfields. That's pretty much all Illinois is actually. It's the bean and and cornfields. Stupid dream I had. Literally every time Danny is in my dreams, he acts insane. I don't know why. You've dreamt about me multiple times and every time I'm in your dream, I'm insane. Uh, am I the new hat man, dude? What the hell? Actually, that'd be pretty sick. I haven't seen any influencers. You know, you see influencers like entering different industries. Like Logan Paul's coming out with like a beverage. Mr. Beast has like burgers now. I want to enter like the dream space. Not the dream SMP, but like people's dreams. I want to become a new 
recurring character in people's dreams. You got the old hag. You got Hat Man. I want people to start seeing Danny when they have sleep paralysis. Hey guys, LOL, it's me, Danny. So hey, haha, it's me, LOL. So, um, fuck all of you guys. Go fucking kill yourselves. I'm literally not even joking. Holy shit. Later on Twitter, hey guys, so, um, and then I'm posting my dick on Twitter? The fuck? Oh, and Curtis is here too. Guys, I don't know what's going on with Danny. He won't answer anybody he's gone missing. Wasn't the other post that I talked about on here where someone had a dream about me, me leaving like cryptic messages? It was like, follow the cat or something? Okay, yeah, please find me, follow the cat. Okay, so here's the new dream lore, all right? I'm gonna start being a recurring character in people's dreams now, but instead of like sitting on your chest or standing in the corner of people's rooms, like the old hag and the hat man, I'm gonna get lost and people have to find me. So maybe if you have sleep paralysis, I'll be kind of like hidden in your room and there will be clues and you have to find me. If someone could add me to the villains wiki, actually, that would be sweet. And we can just kind of create some lore and then maybe people will dream about me. Later on the news, so investigators are, oh my God, there he is. And I'm running down the street. Dude, what the fuck, man? It's funny now, but in the dream, it was really realistic and everyone was super freaked out and worried. Yeah, I'd imagine that in the dream, that would be like really worrisome. Thank you to your dream self for being concerned for me though. I'm glad that you weren't just like, oh, this guy's insane. I gotta stop watching this guy. And you were like, I'm worried about Danny. That's, that really says a lot about the character of your dream self. I'm just thinking that would be so fucking funny if like other people that didn't even know who I was started dreaming about me. If like it became a thing amongst like sleep paralysis culture. I don't even know if that's a thing. Let's make it happen guys. If it's not a thing, let's start it. Just another day in the Tobey Maguire subreddit. No, dude, get out of here with that. This is not Tobey Maguire subreddit. Get him out of here. Why does this have so many awards? Wholesome award. This is not a wholesome. Giving this poser awards on my subreddit. Getting him one of the top voted posts. Get this thing out of here. This is my dad with a Danny Gonzalez balloon he made. That's sick. I mean, like the fact that he like got kind of the general shape of my hair is like really cool. He didn't just like do any old standard like balloon person. I feel like he actually made it look like me on purpose. That's kind of insane. It looks just like me actually. Can we get a side by side real quick? It looks like me. Epic kind of scary though. Yeah, this is kind of scary. I like that my hands kind of look like hooves or like white coffee beans. It does kind of look like something, and this is no disrespect to your dad because it's very cool, but just being the nature of like, kind of looking like a doll, this kind of looks like something that would appear over your bed at three in the morning. And thus, I am going to have to also get this added to the villains wiki as the evil counterpart to my sleep paralysis self. This guy will sit on your fucking chest, actually. Luckily, he doesn't weigh that much because he's made out of balloons, but he will sit on you and he is terrifying. Oh no, dude. I already know what this is from this picture. My friend found an article from 2012 that's a cast list for Hello Dolly at Danny's old high school. And he had like a lead role killer dance move. Dude, I don't even want to watch this, man. I know that it's weird. <laughs> Uh, he always gave off theater kid vibes. Yeah, well, I've also said that I was in theater in high school, so maybe that's why I gave off those vibes. Didn't he say he was in theater in his Reddit video? Yeah, there you go. Oh wait, no, didn't he say he wasn't in theater in his Reddit video? When did I say that? I don't think I've ever said that before. I was in theater in high school. I was in theater and speech. Those were the two things that I did in high school. I would never deny that. What are you talking to? Wait, why are you trying to start fake rumors about me, toe slurper? Ew, <laughs> wasn't expecting to read that username and for it to be so nasty. Yeah, guys, if you see somebody commenting on on my subreddit with a name like Toe Slurper. Do not trust anything they say, all right? He should have never denied he was in theater. Dude, I didn't deny I was in theater. I never did that. LOL, I was there for this production. During the intermission, Danny came out on stage and called everyone who didn't get up to use the restroom a very naughty turnip. Kind of fucking whack if you ask me. The top comment under that is I truly can't tell if this is a joke or not. And honestly, I can't either. Yeah, this was literally 10 years ago. Oh shit, I graduated high school 10 years ago. Yeah, this was literally 10 years ago. I would have no memory if that was true or not. And honestly, it kind of sounds like some shit that a 17 year old Danny would do. This is where that IMDB acting credit comes from. Yeah, my leading role in my high school performance of Hello Dolly. That's sort of how I got into the industry. Let him into Juilliard. Thank you. Actually, this is the only appropriate place to comment that. And I do appreciate that. Thank you. Why does he look exactly the same? Cause I am the same, all right? I'm the same person. The stiffness of his body makes me cringe. No offense, Danny. Yeah, that's just kind of how I was back then, dude. I was stiff as hell. Where's Danny, but I made an act actual Danny character to find. He's in there and he needs some critical thinking skills to be found. Oh shit. Whoa, you did make a little Danny. Oh, cool. So I gotta find this fool who's holding some kind of cane slash bat device. Shit. Oh wait, is that me? He's wearing a Greg hoodie. That, wait, did I find myself right away? He's holding a cane. 
I think that is me. Did I literally find myself that fast? Jake, if you're editing this, don't even edit that down. I want them to see how fucking fast I found myself, dude. That is me right there. I've got a cane. I've got a blue hoodie. I feel like I found that in literally like five seconds. That was absolutely mental. My critical thinking skills are off the charts. This is insane. I hope that is me though. Otherwise I'm gonna look like an idiot because the hair isn't exactly the same, but it's similar. In no, I'm no, that's me. And I'm not gonna spend any more time on it. They're so adorable. Yeah, we are. Look at me, dude. I'm straight up asleep. God damn. Damn, that's such a cute picture too. Look at us. Two little peas in a pod. He looks so drunk. Dude, I'm I'm literally asleep in this picture. Danny, you have to explain this picture. I need an explanation. What's going on here? Honestly, I just took this picture in my room one time and it's been my profile picture for literally like six years. Maybe I should get a new profile picture. I don't know. I don't even really do my hair like that anymore. I also like Photoshopped this really poorly. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed. I didn't like cut out the background all the way. There's like little parts in the middle of my hair where you can see the background. I've honestly never been a huge fan of this profile picture. It just kind of happened and I just kind of stuck with it. Maybe, maybe one day I'll change it. Who knows? Didn't Curtis change his or was that just a joke? Yeah, Curtis, I think edited his face to have his mustache and his longer hair on his already existing profile picture. So maybe I should just edit this. Maybe I should just copy Curtis. That's kind of a good idea. Maybe I'll just make Curtis's profile picture my profile picture. Okay, honestly, I'm not seeing any of this like arguing going on on the subreddit. Where is this? Oh, I like this. POV, you are the meme. I like that. Oh shit, wait, oh. Oh, is this a little video about my new couch? Okay. I guess I'm curious to see what people think about ab about the new couch in the comments. On the last video I posted that had the new couch, people were pretty into it. It's a nice couch. Look at it. Nice, leather, very comfortable. I'm sitting back there all the time, dude. When I need to get some work done, I'll go sit back there. It's kind of nice. Now I've got multiple places to sit in here. I feel like it really makes it feel more homey. But I also, I understand I didn't address it or anything. And so people were kind of like, whoa, what the fuck is going on back there? And for your information, I didn't get rid of the Ikea shelf, okay? In fact, I can show you. It's just over there. So here's the couch and it's, it's just right over there, okay? So it's still happy. It's still got stuff on it. It's, it's, everything's, everything's fine. All right, let's see what people are saying about it. In time of political confusion amongst us Gregs, let's lift our heads, join hands, and focus on what really matters, what we've loved, what we've lost. And before we lose anyone else, dude, what the fuck is going on? Is this person referencing what people were talking about in my Twitter mention? What political confusion amongst Greg? Very upsetting that the shelf was replaced with no explanation, ceremony, or mention. It just vanished. A ceremony for a shelf there's no no ceremony is necessary all right the shelf is happily happily over there it's by the window now all right it's getting some nice sunlight i put some guitar stuff on it so I, whenever i'm playing my guitar i'm over there interacting with the shelf okay the shelf is fine also it's a shelf here's my shelf this is a little storage thing from ikea why is it making me kind of emotional dude it's just a shelf I'm getting teary-eyed over here dude make this look like danny's search history no wrong answers danny gonzalez first name how to slap someone with legal side effects of living like the liver king can you eat raw liver okay that's kind of shit i was googling actually so that's pretty good how to get critical thinking in my subreddit how to get Lacroix to sponsor me pretty good. Except now, honestly, I don't even want him to sponsor me anymore. You know what? I'm happy to just drink whatever freaking sparkling water I want. Honestly, I've never felt so free than I do now that I can drink any brand of sparkling water. I can switch it up anytime I want. So this is honestly for the best, all right? I can't be tied down to LaCroix. Unless they wanted to fork over a, just a little bit of cash. But you know, it's fine. How many nipples do rats have? I specifically do remember looking that up when I was filming the rat tattooing videos. Like, I know they have many nipples, but I need to know for sure how many they have. All right, I gotta find wherever this political discourse is. Maybe I gotta go to top within the past week then. That's when I've been getting these DMs. Me returning to the subreddit after two days away and everything is fucking crazy. Where's the crazy shit? Oh, we got a dad in here though. My dad bought these cord concealers just for Danny. That's uh, yeah, okay. Honestly, personally, I would prefer the cables to go in the wall, but but that's definitely better than whatever this dad had going on. These cables are everywhere. So I'll give you like a seven out of 10 on the cable management. Pretty good dad though. I'll give him an eight out of 10. Also, you can get cable runners that are like the same color as the wall so that they blend in a little bit better. So if you don't want to go into the wall, I would at least recommend that. Maybe, maybe just paint it or something. Go landlord style and just 
freaking put a slab of paint over that. I don't know what the Greg Illusion is, and at this point, I'm afraid to ask. Okay, so th is this what people were talking about? A Greg Illusion? Greg Lotion? Is it really Greg Lotion? That just makes it sound like you're saying like Greg Lotion wrong. Danny has become a dictator, so we started Gregulation. Okay, there's three different spellings of Greg Illusion in here. There's Greg Lotion, <laughs> Gregulation, as in congratulations, and Viva La Greg Illusion, which is what I feel like it should be. So people are rebelling against me. You know, maybe if they had me on their side, they'd be able to fucking spell. That's all I can say. So we started the Gregulation to fight against his Iron Fist rule. We want back upvotes, awards, LaCroix, freedom for the Nutcracker guy, etc. We still want him to be king. We want more equality between us, Danny. Dude, what is going on? What is this? Come on, guys. What? Let's sort by new here so that we can see what people are posting about. Okay, literally like every post on the subreddit is about this now. Little Nutcracker guy doesn't deserve this. He is a beacon of joy, a presence in our life. He does not deserve to be used as this war's pawn. You guys are hurting him. People are creating political spectrums for you to be on? What the fuck, dude? What is the Greg Gregolution? Okay, this one's spelled differently also. Gregolution. So people are making this like fake rebellion because I said that I want all of the awards on my subreddit. That's what this is all about. And they think the Nutcracker's being treated unfairly. Dude, this guy wants to be here, all right? I try to get him to leave. He's the hardest working mother Motherfucker I know, all right? He clocks in early, he stands there all day, and he doesn't leave. He's the last one to leave, all right? I try to get him to leave. He likes it, and he's paid very handsomely. Nutcracker, blink twice if you're being held captive. Blink twice if you're a Greg, Greg Lotionist. He's fine. In terms of the awards, I understand that, you know what, there is some there is some good content in the subreddit and people should be rewarded for those things. I don't even know how to respond to this. This is so this is so strange. Take the awards. I don't care. I don't need them. I don't need them. Take the awards if you want to. Can we just get the subreddit back to normal, please? I'm a little worried about you guys. Danny, encourage people to think more critically. They do it and gave me fun puzzles. They used too much of their critical thinking skills and started a Greg Greg Yolution, and then I'm like, oh shit. I guess I really created a monster, didn't I? You guys are too smart now. There's like a whole culture in here that I don't even understand. How am I like out of the loop in my own subreddit, dude? Here's what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna, I'm making a post on here. It's gonna be called the Greg Yulo. The Greg, the Greg Regulation is over. Please stop this nonsense. You can have the awards. I will keep the Nutcracker. He is fine. I promise. Post. All right, well, I guess that fixes that. The rebellion is over. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, goodbye.